Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. Today I'm going to bring you an unboxing of the EcoFlow River Pro. Again, that is the EcoFlow River Pro. This is the EcoFlow 4 River Pro. It's a battery. All right, it's basically just a battery. I'm going to unbox it, I'm going to tell you all about it. Have you guys seen those little battery backups that you carry around for your cell phone, that you carry in your backpack, you keep in your EDC bag, wherever, keep one in your vehicle, charged and ready to go for if your cell phone dies or circumstances like that? This is basically just a giant battery backup. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I'll read some of the general specs to you. Model EF4 Pro, 15.9 pounds. You guys can see the dimensions. It's about 11 by seven by nine inches. It has a 600 watt AC output with a surge of 1200 watts. It's 120 volts. It's got a five volt DC, 2.4 amp, 12 watt max per port USB-A output. It's also got a fast charge at nine volts, USB-A and USB-C car power output, 136, 13.6 volt DC. It's a lithium ion 18650 cell battery with a lifespan of 800 cycles. So let's talk a little bit about what it is what it does. EcoFlow, I don't obviously have a whole lot of experience with the brand because this is the first time that I've used it or first time that I'm gonna be using it. I will talk a little bit about why I would buy something like this. I didn't buy it. I was gifted it from the EcoFlow company. That doesn't mean that I won't give a honest review. You guys are aware that I always give honest reviews no matter what it is, even if it's my product. Uh, if some, it's something somebody sent me or even if it's something somebody paid me to review. I will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. But in this case, I've just done some, some research on the internet and I don't seem to be finding, the, the reviews I've seen were positive. I don't know if that means that it's positive or not, but it seems, the boxing seems well, a very, uh, well put together, well made. They put a lot of foam in there, like they don't want it to break. The fit and finish looks great. The attention to detail. So this is all giveaway stuff of quality, all right? I mean, it, it's uh, definitely, I would say it's, you know, in the upper echelons of quality from everything I can see. And the price is, it's not cheap, but it's, it's not the most expensive thing either. Why would I want something like this? I'm personally going to end up now able to bring this with me when I go on extended trips. You guys know I have an expedition vehicle where I can charge just about everything, but it costs a lot of money and took a lot of time to set that up. So for people that don't have an expedition vehicle set up to be able to charge things, I'll give an example. I, w I did a video series here on the channel on overlanding just for normal people in a regular vehicle. And I took a Tahoe and I was actually on, I was out on bail from a, a charge in, in Utah, but I did have to, you know, go through the legal system. I actually turned myself in in Germany, was extradited to, to Utah, and then had to go through their kangaroo court system of, of justice there. That's just absolutely a joke. And then until my papers got in front of the judge and the judge was like, oh, wow, uh, it, it appears that there's absolutely not even a shred of evidence against you. And I was like, yeah, that's the case. Oh, sorry about that. Here we go. And it was closed. But while I was out on, on bail, I decided to just do a little road trip and go tripping across the country in a vehicle. And, and I documented it every day for you guys, made you know videos of everything I was doing, went to a lot of really cool places, beautiful national parks and stuff like that. Did all that and ran into an issue, ran into a problem, couldn't find a charger. It's like AC DC converter and it charges household items with a household plug. And at that time I had an Alienware 17 laptop. It was a really big laptop that required a lot of power 
and I, there was no way I could charge it from my car, from my vehicle. It just wouldn't generate enough constant power to charge my laptop. So I had to, in order to complete that video series for you guys, I had to go every day to a coffee shop, eat lunch, have some coffee, and then edit and, and charge my laptop. In that case, charge my laptop, or every few days charge, if I needed to use my computer for that case when I was editing, and I was actually doing, I was filming and then putting the video up with like a one or two day delay, so it was almost live. It's really cool. Uh, it's, a, it's a series it's here on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's a playlist of all of those trips. If I would have had something like this, it would have been so much easier. So now what this is going to give me the potential to do is get away from my expedition vehicle and I can just go off into the mountain. Where I'm here right now, I'm on one of my uh, training, I'm at a training facility of mine where we don't have power, there's no electricity. So this will allow me to be here for extended periods way off into the mountains. There's also no cell phone signal or anything like that. So uh, that's not the, the biggest deal, but it would allow me to have less batteries. For example, my drone, I can use my drone and it just saps batteries and then batteries also, they don't last, they die on their own. So you can charge the batteries, I can store my drone and then the batteries will just die on their own. It comes with a connection guide. Apparently you can connect it to Wi-Fi. One of the cool things is it does show here on the front, how, like a, in real time, how many hours are left. So it'll have like 99 there. It starts with 99 and it says how many hours you have left of the battery. And it's a real time thing. So if I plug in a bunch of stuff, then it'll show how many hours in, that this thing will keep charging and keep running things. It's not only used for charging, I can run things. Like I could run a refrigerator. Say if I was camping and I wanted to run a, a small, very small refrigerator, I could run the refrigerator off of this, you know? So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a power supply. It's something like a generator. It is able to be plugged into solar. It is able to be charged with solar pa pa panel. So theoretically, again, I'm gonna have to test it, but theoretically, I would be able to, off of my solar panel, charge this and then run for say, for example, a refrigerator. I would have to make sure that the solar panel was charging at a fast enough rate, that the solar panel was charging this battery faster than this battery was being depleted, obviously. So it all, that really all depends on the solar panel and, the, and what you're using it to charge. But theoretically, this could be used in a camping situation to run something constantly. Because uh, a solar panel in today's, today's best solar panels probably can't power something very powerful. But you can use a solar panel to trickle charge the battery and then the battery to power something like a refrigerator or something very powerful that I would want to keep running if I wanted to make sure that my computer never died or something, for example, like that. Obviously, if it's something small like a cell phone, then it's super doable. If it's a, could be a ham radio system that you want to keep operational in the field. This stuff comes in this neat little pack. Quick start guide here, how to use the River 600 series for the ver very first time. It says there's a press to turn on off. There's a little button here. Okay, I'm gonna press this button. Let me do this so you guys can see it and I can see it. All right, there we go. Press to turn light on off. Okay, there's a light. You guys see the number on there? It says how charged it is. This came from factory with a 59 hour charge. So that's about halfway charged, I guess. It come, came with about a halfway charge. 29% actually is what it says. So it's 20, that came from factory 29% charged. We've got it here, what looks like a, a power cord that comes with it. So it's uh, just to plug it in and charge it, a standard what would be like a PC power cord, three prong power cord. We've also got the, this would be a, looks to me to be a solar panel. So this is where you can charge directly from a solar panel. It's a, it's here on the side also. It's a 25 volt, 12 amp cord. This is also another, this is for, from charging it from your vehicle. So you can charge it from your vehicle and then go on extended day trips like we talked about. This is a, these, the solar panel and this are both 25 volt, 12 amp max. This is 100 to 120 volt AC power, which, you know, it's going to be any, anybody in the United States plugs that in. 
Anybody in the Americas plugs that into their house and, and house charges it. So that's very easy. Let me go ahead and turn that light off. Over here on the other side, there is press to turn AC power on off. So it's got AC power. Now the AC power's on. What that means is that I can charge, I can, it's got a little cooling fan, which is neat. I can plug right in here, any kind of a household item, right? So it's even got, it looks like it even has a spot for the ground connection, which is interesting. Oh, that's cool. So you, that means you don't have to pull your, which is dangerous, pull your ground connection off. The ground connection even has a little hole where the ground connection enters. It obviously doesn't have a ground, but you can still use plugs like this. So now I can press this button right here and charge automatically charge things that are AC. That anything that I would plug into my house, I can now plug into this. And when I'm not using that, I just turn it off. Just like that, that simply. So that, this thing is very easy to use. I did not look up how to use it or anything. I just really quickly read some reviews online to see if people were saying good or bad stuff about it. And apparently a lot of people have it. And I didn't see right away any bad reviews, which I don't believe everything that I read. I would. I think uh, I, I do one one thing that I do say is it like looks if you really want to know if something's good or bad look something up on Amazon that's what I'm doing a lot these days because uh, Amazon has people really give negative reviews just all the time uh, read reviews you know I've got my website bonetactical.com and I've got tons of reviews on all of my products that you see here on the table everything on the table has its has reviews on it so those are reviews. The reviews are up on www.bonetactical.com. I even have a few of my products on Amazon and people always give reviews that are more negative than what you would think. Uh, and sometimes people lie on there. So if something has positive reviews on Amazon, unless they're cheating Amazon by doing some kind of an illegal ad campaign, then I would say normal Amazon's pretty fairly biased towards the negative in most cases. So. Uh, if, if there's a, if it's, if it's like a, you know, four above four star review, then I would say that's probably going to be a decent product for the price. And then if it, if it's, you will have negative reviews stating the bad stuff. If it's a low quality or if it doesn't work for your needs, chances are if they've sold enough of them, somebody has given that negative review that you're looking for. So definitely check out, I like to check reviews. It's, it's why I'm checking reviews. It's why I do reviews because people uh, take my opinion as a professional in my field, especially as a world traveler and adventurer and expedition team leader, or things that I've done in my past. People take it, my what I have to say with a little bit of uh, precedence, I suppose would be the people like to hear what I, my opinion on things because they know I'm honest and straight up. So what I can tell you now is it's very easy to use. I can't tell you how long it'll last, apart from that it's at a, what it's advertised. I did say in the introduction how long it's supposed to last. Uh, I believe it was 800 cycles. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. If you, if you like this kind of review video, if you wanna see more review videos, again, let me know. I'm, uh, I'm here for you guys. And it, the last thing that it comes with is this little Wi-Fi connection guide we talked about. The paperwork is the last thing that it comes with. This is the DIY instructions for connecting to non-MC4 solar panels. All right, so this is if you don't have the MC4 connector. It tells you here how to connect a solar panel that does not have that. And then here's the, the user guide slash owner's manual, which I pretty much never read. <laughs> it's bad, you should always read the owner's manual. Guys, let me know what you wanna see more of. If you wanna see a review of anything on this table, let me know. If you wanna see more reviews, let me know. If you, don't, if you wanna see no more reviews from Bone Tactical, let me know. I do appreciate all of the feedback and support that I get. I, I cater my channel to my fans and I try to teach what you guys wanna learn. Thanks for watching, Bono.